everyone and welcome back to the channel. This is Latoya with Wasabi Hijabi, an online women's boutique that focuses on faith, fashion, and self-care. And in today's online business diaries, we are going to discuss all things SMS. SMS bump. So yesterday I introduced you guys to this application that I'm using that I found out about via Shopify apps. So I noticed on this, they have something called a campaign planner. I think that this is going to be super helpful for me because it's really hard for me to be like motivated to send out emails and text messages. Not because I don't want to, um, but because sometimes you get a creative block or you feel like, oh my gosh, I don't want to reach out. I don't want to bother people. However, I do think that if you are using applications, whether they're free or whether they're paid, if they have features for you to use to help you with your business, especially with all things marketing and growth, you definitely want to tap into that. It just makes sense, right? So as you can see here, we currently have six SMS subscribers and 30 email subscribers. Mind you, two of those email subscribers, one's me, one's my husband. So technically we're at 28. But with that being said, in the campaign planners, they pretty much plan out the month for you. So yesterday I noticed that they had actually a couple more for the 9th and the 10th but today they show from the 15th and later so um depending on your industry they'll let you know what makes sense for you and for instance like i'm not in the uk and i don't know like if i have any uk customers so i may not send out anything for that because i want it to be authentic too right um but when it comes to like international dog day People love puppies, whether you own them or not, right? Like you think puppies are cute. And you know me and my gifts. I can still send out a cute automation to go along with this for text messages for International Dogs Day. But um, for the 15th, definitely National Relaxation Day, I have a self-care portion of the boutique. As I mentioned, we focus on faith, fashion, and self-care. So all things, journals, notebooks, um, bath and body stuff, candles, that obviously fits in for National Relaxation Day. So I'm going to play around with this and see how it works out for me. I'll do some testing for the rest of the month of August to see, did this work for me? How did I feel with this? So that's all things SMS. When it comes to emails, they also have email templates that you can use as well for various days. So you can kind of use text and emails together. So you're not flooding folks in one area or the other or neglecting folks in one area or the other. Because as you know, I've been very focused on email marketing, but I haven't really tapped into my text message subscribers. And I'm like, if you're subscribing, whether you want the discount code or not, if you're there, I want to reach out to you. I want to talk to you. I want to communicate with you, especially if those folks may not be following me on social media. I may not be posting on social media during that time. But either way, this is an opportunity for me to create and generate um, content for folks that are on these lists. As you know, um, that is super important for your business and for your growth. So I wanted to just come in and kind of do an intro for that and let you guys know about like my marketing efforts that I have. As you know, one of my main goals this week was to focus on automation as it relates to social media, but I don't want to forget about marketing too. Hello, hello. So when I tell you guys that you guys are my accountability partners, you really are. For those of you that currently watch, for those of you that are watching from the future, thank you so much. So my goal is to bulk upload to social media multiple times throughout the day. All right, there really is no excuse whenever you have things such as Canva to help you out. So I'm so proud of these that I used. Um, this one right here as well, so cute. And this one. So because I wanna do three posts a day to Instagram, I've only done three days worth, so I have more to do. But at least, um, I, I have started, you know what I mean? Like that's the biggest thing. I wanna make sure that I start and actually create a routine for myself so that I know what to flow with. I need to figure out like what day of the week I can do this all at once or if I'll do it multiple days throughout the week, but I'm happy because now I have those three days set up uh, with these posts. So like I mentioned before with Canva, hold on, let's go to this one. Let's go home and then when we go to the content planner, 
let's say tomorrow, I can click on add here and then I'll select whichever one I want. We'll use this one as an example. And as you can see, I can pick wait because this says select a channel. Okay, so like that's the in, that's Instagram select a channel. Oh, okay, so here, yeah. So when you select a channel, you can do Instagram business, Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, Slack, and Tumblr. Mmm, interesting. So we don't have a Tumblr, don't have a business Slack or Instagram. I'm mean, excuse me, or LinkedIn, but we do have Pinterest, Twitter, Facebook and Instagram business. So I need to make sure that the Facebook page is connected because normally when you post on Instagram directly through the app, you can select Twitter and Facebook at that time. So um, now that I know that I can post that way, I'll probably post similar things from Instagram to Facebook because not everybody is on every platform and that's kind of like what I've been doing anyway. And I haven't really been tweeting that much. So I'll just focus on Instagram, Facebook, and Pinterest right now for sure. And for Pinterest, those pins are a little bit different than Instagram posts. Just based on how people look at pins on Pinterest. They don't normally look at it in this way. They look at it in a more vertical way versus like a square. So like a vertical rectangle works better for Pinterest. But I wanted to just update you guys and tell you about that that your girl is bulk uploading okay um so we had to focus on bulk uploading pop-up shop oh taking pictures of the fall inventory it's only wednesday so i still have thursday and friday saturday and sunday to do that and then also doing lifestyle stuff and i did that with candles this week and so next week i'll focus on doing lifestyle stuff with something different just switching it up trying to figure out like what's going to work and what's not so this is going to be my last clip of the day, but I wanted to just um, not only plug our Pinterest page, so follow us if you're not, shop Wasabi Hijabi on Pinterest, um, but I do have a board called Small Business Tips, and I think that Pinterest is a really great place to get those tips quickly, and then you can do additional research. So for instance, um, as you can see here, I have some for social media planning, and then like pinterest versus instagram as i mentioned before pinterest is like a search engine um instagram as you know is like social media so for the instagram page i'm thinking that i want to put those posts that i just showed you on my page obviously like for the normal feed and then i want to get more into reels and so like as you can see here there's like 15 content ideas there's never a reason for any of us to like run out of ideas of what to do <laughs> sometimes you can be super simple sometimes you can get very artistic but it's just about like doing it and being consistent in that and so for me I love using Pinterest for tips and tricks from like other business owners. Like some of them are very straight to the point. Obviously, some people have blog posts that you can read. They have programs you can sign up for and things of that nature. But for me, I just really love Pinterest whenever I need like some motivation. So what I'll do is I'll just search whatever I need to search for and then peruse and then pin my favorite ones. I have 109 pins in this section currently. And one of the last ones that I put here was about like five reasons your offer isn't selling which is very similar to like why your products might not be selling as well and the hasn't seen it enough definitely stood out to me especially as it relates to me not posting enough on social media doesn't feel anything so that's the reason why I used Canva how I did and put the graphics in there that made me feel like oh this speaks to me like this shows a little bit about, about my personality it shows a little bit about what I want people to feel whenever they do see my business online so I talked to my husband about this as well and he told me like be authentic from the very beginning so that you don't find yourself in a business and you're like how did it get this way like of course it's going to grow and evolve just as you do as a person but I don't want to do something that doesn't feel authentic to me just because I'm like oh well that thing is going to make me seem or look more professional versus like showing my actual personality that's the reason why people buy from small businesses is because they like the vibe of that person um, doesn't see the value, doesn't trust you yet, and doesn't know what you do exactly. So 
I think that I'm definitely working on these things as I do more of these YouTube videos and I talk to you guys and kind of tell you my thought process because I know a lot of people will tell you how to start a business but they won't tell you exactly like how to run it <laughs> they won't show the behind the scenes of that and I get that because it's like well I don't want people to know my secrets and I want people to learn for themselves but at the same time I feel as though sharing is caring and I want to document this journey for myself too sh selfishly so that I can look back and see my growth because it is very quick for you to kind of gaslight yourself and say like oh I'm not doing enough or I suck at this and for me it's just like consistency like that is what I keep telling myself and reminding myself of so anyway if you need some small business tips and tricks and you want a quick board to look at definitely follow at shop wasabi hijabi on Pinterest and as always folks please like comment subscribe to the channel do all that good stuff share this video with anybody that you think might find it interesting and i'm gonna go take care of my baby because he's crying in the background so bye